Let's learn the alphabet today. Is that a letter hiding in there? That's the letter C. C is for car. Some letters are hiding in this cookie jar. Let's find them. Hmm. Oh, look, there are the letters. They're both green. This is the letter T. T is for tree. Put that right there. And now we have the letter U. U is for umbrella. There we go. What letter is this? It's the letter M. M is for moon. I think I see the letter X. Here it is. X is for xylophone. What are these soft and fuzzy rings? Oh, look, there are letters hiding. Let's see which one this is. It's the letter E. This one is green. E is for eggs. There it goes. Do you think there's another one hiding in there? I think I see one. Look, it's the letter N. N is for noodle. Let's put it on our ABC board. What letter's hiding in here now? It's the letter H. H is for house. I think there's a letter hiding on the other side of this couch. There it is. That's the letter V. V is for violin. Hey, that's the couch from Blue's Clues. Let's put the V on our V for violin. Do you see a letter hiding inside of our critter clinic? Let's open this one. I think I see one inside. This color's orange, so we need the orange key. Okay, let's put it in and turn. It's the letter R. R is for rabbit. And let's put it on our board. I think I see another letter in there. Let's close that one. It's inside of the blue cage. Let's see, turn. It's the letter G. Let's bring that out. G is for glasses. And there it goes, right before the letter H. Who's that? It's the number four block, and he's driving in the letter D. The letter D is green, and so is number four. D is for duck. There it goes, right in between C and E. C, D, E. Do you hear something inside? I think it's another letter. This is green. That's the number five. Let's see what letter is inside. Oh, wow, it's the letter L. L is for lemon. And it goes right here before the letter M. L, M, N. I think there's a letter hiding in our fishbowl. Let's see which one it is. Well, here's our orange fish with the number five. Put him back in the bowl. He needs to have his water. Oh, look, it's the letter B. This one is orange also. B is for bird. There it goes. Hey, I think that kitty cat is bringing us another letter. It's the letter W. This one is blue. W is for whale. Here we go. It goes in between V and X. I think I see another letter hiding behind all the blocks. Let's find it. Yes, there it is. It's the letter O. O is for onion. I think there's a letter hiding inside of the school. Should we open it up and see what's inside? Hey, it's the letter S. S is for school and it's for sun. It goes right there in between R and T. R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Hey, we need to look for the Y. I think I know where the Y is. Let's check inside this blue barn. Here we go. Well, there it is. That's the letter Y. It's red. Y is for yo-yo. Let's put it right there. Oh, is there something else hiding in here? Yes, it's a duck. Quack, quack, quack. And it's swimming in the water. Look at all of these shapes. I wonder if there are some alphabet letters in there. Let's find out. Hmm, let's dump them out. I think I see some. 
why don't we put away the shapes while we look for our alphabet letters? Okay, well this one is a star, and that's the number five. Let's put it in our star shape. Here's a heart, and that's the number two. There it goes. Oh, look, another heart. Okay. Here's a circle, and that's the number one. It goes in the circle shape. Here's another star with the number five. This one is orange. Star shape. Here's a triangle with the number three, and it goes in the triangle shape. Here's a square, and that's the number four. It goes in the square shape. And we're left with our letters. First of all, this is the letter K. K is for kite. This one is yellow. And here's the letter P. This is pink. P is for pink and pig. There we go. Choo-choo. Here comes Mavis. Oh no, the Z fell off. That's the letter Z. Z is for zebra. This one is orange. Let's put it at the end of our alphabet and say, bye Mavis. Choo-choo. I think there are letters hiding inside of the ice cream cones. Let's open them up and find out. This is a big letter I and little letter I. Let's open it up. Hmm. Oh, look. It's a big letter I. This one is red. I is for ice cream. And I think we can guess what's inside the Q ice cream. That's a big Q and a little Q. Oh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's a letter Q. This one is red. Q is for queen. We're almost done putting our alphabet together. Oh, look, it's Marshall from Paw Patrol. He's bringing us a letter. What letter is that? It's the letter J. J is for Jeep. This one is orange. <laughs> oh, look at all of the alphabet mess. We have all of these alphabet popsicles and a couple of letters. Can you help me find the letters? Well, I see one right here. This is the letter F. F is for fish. Here we go, put it on our alphabet board. Now we just need our last alphabet letter. Do you see the letter A? I do, yes, it's right here. This one is red. A is for apple. Here we go, let's put it on the board. Oh wow, now our board is complete and we can say the alphabet. Will you say it with me? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Great job! This is red, and that's the number one. So will you help me count to one? We should find one red dinosaur. Here's one. One, and that's red. This is orange, and that's the number two. If number two is orange, we should find two orange dinosaurs. Count with me. One, two. Let's put these pieces together. Hey, it looks like it's a puzzle. Let's see what this puzzle shape is going to make. This one is a lighter orange. That's the number three. Number three is also orange. Let's count three orange dinosaurs. One, two, and three. This is yellow. That's the number four. Let's look for four yellow dinosaurs. Can you point to the yellow ones? Right. Here's one, 
two, three, and four. Let's put it down right there. Four yellow dinosaurs. Do you know what color this is? Right, it's green. And that's the number five. Let's look for five green dinosaurs now. One, two, three, four, and five. This is dark green, and that's the number six. I don't see any dark green dinosaurs. Let's just use the regular green ones. Count to six with me. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We all know this is my favorite color. It's purple, and that's the number seven. Can you see any purple dinosaurs? Let's count to seven. One, two, three, four, whoops, I dropped it. Four, five, six, and seven. We did it. This is blue. And that's the number eight. Do we have eight blue dinosaurs? Why don't we count them and find out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of dinosaurs. One more. Eight. Look at all the dinosaurs. This is black, and that's the number nine. I don't see the color black here, so why don't we just count to nine with all of the dinosaurs? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine dinosaurs. Hey look, it's another red one. Red in Spanish is rojo. Can you say that with me? Rojo. That's the number 10. 10 is a really big number, but we can do it if we count together. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Hmm, I only see seven red dinosaurs. We have to get to 10. Let's count some more. Why don't we choose the blue? Eight, nine, and 10. Seven red dinosaurs plus three blue dinosaurs is 10. Remember what color this is? It's orange. Orange in Spanish is anaranjado. That's a long word. Say that one with me again. Anaranjado. That's the number 11. Now we need to count 11 orange dinosaurs. Well, if we have 10 dinosaurs right here, how many dinosaurs do we have to add to get 11? You're right, just one. Let's choose one orange dinosaur. 10 plus one is 11. I think I can see our shape coming together. What animal is this? Let's find out at the end. Here's another kind of orange, a naranjado, and that's the number 12. It's yellow. In Spanish, yellow is amarillo. Amarillo. That's the number 13. Lucky 13. Hey, what happened to the dinosaurs? Now there's a whole bunch of numbers. Our next number we have to put together is 13. Why don't you help me find the numbers to make 13? Well, first we need a one, 
What's our next number to make 13? Yes, it's right here. The three. A one and a three make 13. This is green. In Spanish, that's verde. Say it with me, verde. That's the number 14. Let's make the number 14 now. Start with the number one again. And now we need the number four. Do you see it? It's blue. Yes, it's right here. The number one and four make 14. This is dark green, and that's the number 15. Now let's do the number 15. First, we start with the one. Now we need the number five. And here it is, it's blue also. One and five make 15. Here we go with my favorite color again. This is purple. In Spanish, purple is morado. Morado. And that's the number 16. Do you know what numbers we need to make 16? I see them. We start with the number one. Now we need the number six. It's right here and it's green. One and six make 16. Here's blue. Do you remember what blue is in Spanish? Azul, right. That's the number 17. Next is the number 17. Well, we need a seven, I know that. Do you know what number we need next? Yes, it's the one. Is that the right order? No, that's the number 71. If we put the one in front, now we have 17. You did great. We have a lot of numbers so far. Will you count with me from the very beginning? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Do you remember the colors? Let's do them in English first. Red, orange, another orange, just a little lighter. Yellow, light green, dark green, purple, blue, and black. Then we get to red again. In Spanish, that's rojo, anaranjado, another anaranjado, amarillo, verde, verde, morado, azul. You're doing great so far. Let's see what number comes next. Oh look, this one is the color black, and that's 18. Black in Spanish is negro. For the number 18, here we go. One and eight. Those are both orange, 18. Let's put it right here. It's the number 19. This one was red, rojo. The number 19, you got it right. We have a one, and now we need the number nine. One and nine make 19. Orange, anaranjado. That's the number 20. Are you ready to help me find the number 20? It's different, we're not gonna use the number one. Now we're gonna start with the number two. Let's bring that over here. For the number 20, after the number two, we need a zero. Here it is. Two and zero make 20. Another orange, anaranjado, 21. For the number 21, what do we start with? Yes, we start with the two, and then we find the one. 21. Yellow. Amarillo. 22. Now we need the number 22. Well, here's a two. Where's another two? Here's one, I found it. They're not the same size, but now you can see that's the number 22. I can start to see our animal coming together. Green. 23. Verde. The number 23, again, starts with the number two. What number comes after it? Yes, it's the number three. Here we have 23. Green, verde, 24. For the number 24, let's leave the two there. And let's find the number four. Here we go. 
two and four make 24. Purple, morado, 25. Next is the number 25. Two and five make 25. And our last one, blue, azul, 26. And our last one. Again, we start with the number two, but this time we end with six, 26. What shape is this? It's a snake. What a pretty snake, all of the colors. Let's count one more time. All of the numbers together. Are you gonna count with me? Thanks, I need your help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and our last one, 26. Those are big numbers, you did great. Oh no, all of my numbers got mixed up. Can you help me put them in the right order so we can count to 20? Thanks, let's get started. Of course, let's start with zero. Do you see where the zero is? Can you find it? <laughs> Here it is. That's zero and it's orange. There we go. Now we have the number one. Let's look for the number one. Do you see it? Yes, here it is. It's the number one and it's yellow. What about the number two? Let's look for the number two. Hmm, can you point to it? Here it is. Let's get it there. Let's see the number two and it's green. Now the number three. Do you see the number three? Yes, there it is. Right back here, that's the number three and it's green also. Okay, what about the number four? Hmm, I'm looking for the number four. What does it look like? Do you see the number four? I'm looking, oh, <laughs> it's here, it's upside down. Number four, this looks green, but it's dark green. Okay, now we need the number five. Do you see the number five? Yes, there it is. Okay. The number five. This is blue. Let's see what we have so far. Count with me. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Next is six. Let's look for the number six. Here it is. This one is light blue, the number six. Let's look for seven. Number seven, yes, number seven. And it's purple, my favorite color. Do you know what number is next? It's the number eight. Do you see the number eight? Can you point to it? Here, number eight. This one is pink. Number nine. Where is number nine? Oh, here it is. This one is red. Number nine. Do you know what this number is? It's the number 10. Can you see the number 10? I see it. This is the number 10 and it's orange. Wow, we have a lot of numbers here. Let's count from the beginning and see where we're at. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're getting into some big numbers. You can do it. 
Let's look for the number 11. Yes, that's it. It's yellow. It looks like two ones next to each other. That's the number 11. What about the number 12? I'm looking. Can you see the number 12? There. Number 12. And it's green. What about the number 13? We're looking for the number 13. And I see it right there. This one is dark green. Let's look for 14. Hmm. Here it is. Number 14. This one looks blue. Next is number 15. And I'm looking for number 15. Here it is. Number 15. Okay, let's count together. Will you count with me? Here we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, we can do the next one, which is sixteen. We're looking for number 16. There. Number 16. This one looks light blue. Now we need 17. Let's look for 17. Our numbers are, here they are, number 17. And it's purple. Okay, let's move our numbers a little closer here. Next, we need to look for 18. Do you see 18? That's it, you found it. 18, and it's pink. Now we need to look for 19. Okay, do you see 19? Here it is, and it's red. Our last number is 20. It's our last number over here, number 20. Now before we count them all together, let's look for our math symbols. We need to look for the addition sign. Which one of these is the addition sign? Can you point to it? Right, here it is, and it's blue. Now we need to look for the subtraction sign. Which one of these is subtraction? Right, and it's orange. Now we need to look for the equal sign. It's our last one, you got it. This one is green, equal sign. Now let's count all of our numbers together. You can do it. Here we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You did great, I'm so proud of you. The ladybugs are all running away from their home. Will you help me bring them back to their home? Thanks. First, we need to find the number one ladybug. This one is purple. Let's look for the ladybug with one dot on its back. It's right here. Let's see if we have the right one. Turn it over. Yes, that's the number one. Okay, Ladybug, time to go home. Let's look for the number two Ladybug. It's gonna be orange. Number two with two dots. I found it, right here. Count those dots. One, two. And let's look, we did it. Okay, Ladybug, time for you to go to sleep. Let's look for number three here. It's gonna be blue. Which ladybug has three dots on its back? Hmm, not that one. That one has four dots. I think it's right here. Let's count those dots. One, two, three. And we're right, that's number three. Okay, ladybug. Now we need to look for Number four, Ladybug. It's gonna be green. 
Didn't we just see the number four ladybug? Yes. Let's count those dots. One, two, three, four. And we're right. That's the number four. Hmm. Do you know what number comes next? Yes, it's the number five. This one's going to be pink. Hmm. Do you see five dots? Yes, here it is. Oops. <laughs> Let's count those dots. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the number five. You did great. Good night, Ladybug. Next is the number six right here. Okay, we're looking for the blue ladybug with six dots. These are a lot of dots. I wonder, this is the blue ladybug. Let's count the dots and see if we have the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we did it. That's the number six blue ladybug. Do you know what number comes after six? Right, seven. And this one is gonna be pink also. Hmm, well here's the pink ladybug. Let's count the dots and see if we have the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We did it, number seven. Good night, ladybug. Do you know what number comes after seven? Eight, and this one's gonna be yellow. Well, there's only three ladybugs left, and this is the only yellow one. I'll bet this is it, but let's count the dots and find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're right, this is the yellow number eight ladybug. Next is the number nine, and this one's gonna be purple. Well, we only have two ladybugs left, and this is the purple one. I'll bet this is number nine. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You're doing so great. It's our last ladybug. I'll bet you know what number that is. It's the number 10. Okay, this is a lot of numbers. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> we did it, number 10. Okay, ladybugs, I'm glad you're back in your home. Have a good sleep. Will you help me sort the small, medium, and large shapes? Thanks. Why don't we start with the triangle? A triangle has three sides and three corners. Let's look for the large triangle. Yes, it's right here. That's a large triangle, and it's blue. Let's count the corners to make sure we have the right one. One, two, three. Yep, that's it. Now let's find the medium triangle. I'll bet it's blue also. Do you see it? Right here, that is the medium triangle. There we go. Can you see the small triangle? Point to it. <laughs> right, here it is, the small triangle. We did it! Small, medium, we did it! Large, medium, small. Why don't we look for the square now? Square has four sides of equal length and four corners. One, two, three, four. Let's look for the large square. Hmm, do you see a large square? Right here. And it's yellow. Okay, that goes there. Do you see a medium square? I'll bet it's yellow also. Right, it was really close. Medium. Do you see where the small square is? Hmm, yes. It's right here, a small yellow square. Let's count the corners, make sure we have the right ones. One, two, three, four. Which shape should we do next? How about the rectangle? A rectangle looks sort of like a square, but it has two shorter sides and two longer sides. Do you see a large rectangle? Can you point to it? Great job, here it is, and it's green. 
Now I'm looking for a medium size rectangle. There it is, we've got it. And it's green also. Can you find the small green rectangle now? It's not those. <laughs> you found it. Here it is, small green rectangle. Why don't we look for the circle now? A circle doesn't have any corners. Let's find the large circle. Do you see it? Right, and it's pink. Now we need to find the medium circle. Well, we have fewer shapes now, so it should be easier. Let's see. Right there, the medium circle. Can you point to the small circle? Great job, here it is. Hmm, what do we have left? Here's the circle, rectangle, triangle, and square. Next is a pentagon. That's a fun shape. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides. And where's our large pentagon? Right here. There's that. And where's our medium pentagon? Point to it. Yes, and it's orange. Let's count the corners to make sure we've got the right one so far. One, two, three, four, five. Right, and our last piece. This one is the small pentagon. You did great. Do you remember the colors? Let's say them again. Pink, green, blue, yellow, and orange. I'm so proud of you. Are you ready to play? Let's go! Why don't we start with number one? That looks like it's dark blue. Can you point to the number one that's dark blue? Right, it's right here. Okay, let's put our number one that's dark blue right there. Now, we need to put the loop right there. Hmm, we're looking for a dark blue. I think I see one right there. Okay, here we go. One circle. And let's put it on our peg. What's next? It's the number two. That looks blue also. Do you see a blue number two? Yes, it's right there. Blue number two. And let's put it right there. Now we need to look for our circles. We're looking for a lighter blue. Can you point to it for me? Well, that looks light blue, but I'm not sure it's the right color. Here's one, that looks like the same color. And here's another one. Let's count them to make sure we have the right ones. That's the number two. So let's count our circles. One and two. Yes, that's right. Next is the number three. That looks like an even lighter blue, almost teal. Do you see a number three? Right, it's right there. Number three. So let's put it in its spot. Now, let's find the circles. Okay, do you remember the color of that number three? Do you see the circles? Yes, I see them, they're right here. Let's pick them up and count and make sure we have three circles. Here we go, one, Count with me, two and three. One, two, three. Do you know what number's next? Yes, it's the number four. Do you see a teal number four? <laughs> yes, it's right here. You're doing so great. Number four. And let's put it in its spot. Now, let's count the circles. Do you remember that color teal? I think I see them. Here's one, there's another one, and another. let's pick them all up and then we're gonna count them to make sure we have all the right numbers. Okay, here we go. Don't forget to count with me. One, two, three, and four. We made it to number four. Hey, 
see this is a different color. This one is green, and that's the number five. That's a dark green. Do you see a dark green number five? Yes, I do see it, it's right here. Dark green number five. Okay, put it right there. And you know what to do next. We need to find five dark green circles. Here's one, there's another one. Boy, there's a lot of circles to pick up now. I'll hold them all in my hand. Okay, let's count and make sure we have the right amount. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Yep, that's number five. Next, we have the number six. This is a lighter green. Do you see a number six that's light green? Yes, it's back here, you got it. Number six, light green. Okay, put that there. And next for our circles. But let's make sure we have all six. Let's pick them up. Help me find them. Oh, one was hiding under the orange. Okay, count out loud with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, uh-oh, I gotta get it in my hand. Four, five, and six. You're doing great. Hey, what color is that? That's the color yellow, and that's the number seven. And there's only one yellow number seven. Here it is. We'll put it right there. Now will you help me count to seven with our yellow circles? Okay, let's gather them up. And here we go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh, that's just six. We're missing one. Where did it go? Oh, wait, <laughs> it's hiding underneath the orange one. There we go, number seven. We're almost there. Do you know what number this is? It looks like two circles. It's the number eight, and this one is orange. Do you see a number eight that's orange? Right, here it is, the number eight. And now let's count. Well, this one might be kind of hard to see. We have some light orange. Why don't we start with those? Okay, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there should be one more. Yes, here it is, eight. That's number eight. Now we have number nine. That's a dark orange. And do you see the number nine dark orange? Right, here it is, number nine. Okay, let's put it right here in its spot. Wow, this is really close, this color. Some look orange and some look red. Can you help me find all of the orange circles? Okay, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, we did it. I'm so proud of you. Hey, what's our last number here? That's the big one, number 10. And I think you can point out the number 10 to me. Right, here it is, number 10. Let's put it in its spot. Ah! Oh no, it fell. <laughs> put it in its spot. And now you can help me count. These are all the circles we have left. Count with me loud. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You did it. Help me count all of them one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right. What are all of these other shapes we are missing on the board? Will you help me fill them in? We practiced our colors, so I think this should be easy. Let's start with dark blue. Do you know what shape that is? Yes, it's a square. And looking at these shapes here, do you see a dark blue? Right, here it is, dark blue square. There we go. And here we have blue, what is that? Think real hard. Right, it's a circle. Can you point to the blue circle? Good job, blue circle. And here is a blue, what is this? It has three corners and three sides of equal length. Right, it's a triangle. Can you point to the triangle? Yes, you did it. Here it is, blue triangle. Look at all of these different shades of blue. Here's our teal. Teal is sort of like blue, but what shape is that? When you look up at the sky real high, you see it. Right, it's a star. Do you see a teal star? You did great. Here you go. Let's put it right there. Okay. And next we have, what color is this? Right, it's dark green. What shape is that? It's a hexagon. Six sides of equal length and six corners. Now let's find our green hexagon. Point to it. Yes, you got it. Green hexagon. What about this? It sort of looks like the square. A square has four corners and four sides of equal length. So how is this one different? Hmm, well there are four corners, one, two, three, four, but it looks like the sides are different. These are the same size and these are the same size, but different. Yes, it's a rectangle. A rectangle has two sides of equal length and two sides of different length. Here we go, can you point to the green rectangle? Yes, here it is, green rectangle. And here we have a heart. What color is that? Yes, it's yellow. Okay, let's find the yellow heart. Okay, there's not many shapes left. You got it, yellow heart. What about this one? It sort of looks like a cross. It's a plus sign and it's orange. Okay, let's find the orange plus sign. Right, here it is, it was almost hiding. Orange plus. What about this one? That's orange also, but what symbol is it? It's a subtraction symbol, a minus sign. And do you know which one of these it is? Right, it's right here, the orange minus sign, or subtraction. And our last one right here. This one might be a hard one. Let me help you out. This one is red, and you use it when you are counting in math. It's an equal sign. Put it right there. Good job. I'm having so much fun playing this game. Let's keep going. Why don't we match the alphabet letters with the spot it goes in, and we can put our alphabet together. Hmm, let's start with this one. It's the letter B and it's blue. Hey, B starts with blue. Which one should we do next? How about this one? It's an R. This R is teal. Do you see where the letter R goes? Right, there. Next, why don't we do, here, let's do the letter M. This one is red. The letter M, do you point, can you point to where it goes? Yes, there on the end. Now, why don't we do, hey, what are those? Oh, these are fish. This is gonna be part of a game we do later. But these are animals. 
Maybe we should try to find an animal that matches one of the letters. Okay, let's play that game. How about, what's this? It's a monkey. What letter does monkey start with? Right, the letter M. Hey, we've already placed the letter M. It's right there, monkey. Now let's find where the monkey's supposed to go. Right there. Why don't we do the letter K next? The letter K is orange. And let's put it in its spot. Next, let's do the letter U. This one is green. The letter U goes right there. Now let's do, oh, how about this one? The letter F, and it's green also. The letter F. Should we look for another animal that might have one of these letters? Let's see. Um, well, that's a panda bear, and we haven't done a p panda bear yet, a P. What about, yes, how about a fox? A fox starts with the letter F, and we already placed the letter F. So where does the fox go? Right here. Hmm, okay, let's go back to the letters. How about the letter W? And this one's orange. Right there. Next, why don't we do the one that starts the beginning of the alphabet, the letter A, and it's dark blue. A, hmm, how about, here we go, the letter T, it's green. Where does the letter T go? There it is. How about, let's do this one, the letter E, this one's green. Let's look for another animal that might start with one of these letters. Let's see if there's one that starts with the letter E. E makes an eh, eh, or E sound. Hey, what about elephant? Elephant starts with the letter E. Let's see if we're right. Yes, that's where the elephant goes. You're doing great. Let's try one more. Do you think there's one that starts with an R? R makes a rrr sound. Rabbit. Yes, it's a rabbit and it starts with the letter R. Where does the rabbit go? Right here. Get that to fit, uh oh, backwards. There we go. Let's do some more letters. How about the letter S and it's green? Let's put that in its home. Where's it go? There we go, S. Now let's do the letter Y. This one looks like red or dark orange. Let's say it's red. Now let's do, how about how about an N? Make sure we have it right. That's the letter N, and it's blue. It goes right here. Do you think there are any more animals that we can choose from? Hmm, what about this one? Do you know what animal that is? Right, it's a turtle. Turtle starts with the letter T. T, 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 turtle. So let's see if we're right. Yes, that's where the turtle goes. Let's do another one. What about this one? What is that? Right, it's a bird. Bird starts with B, B, the letter B. There's the letter B. And where do we put our bird? Right here. Great job. Let's do some more letters. How about the letter H? And that one is yellow. So let's put that right there. And how about the letter O, and that's blue. It goes after the letter N. And now the letter C, and that's blue also. And how about the letter G? That one's green. G, now we're just missing a few. Wait a second, I think I see an animal that starts with the letter G. Do you see an animal that starts with the letter G? Right, giraffe, j, j, giraffe. That's right, and let's see where it goes. Right here, okay, you're great. Let's do this one. The letter L, and it's orange. 
I think I see another animal that starts with the letter L. Which one of these starts with the letter L? Yes, it's a lion. Can you roar like a lion? Roar. <laughs> right. And here it goes to its home. Here's the letter I. It's yellow. Here's the letter X. And it's orange. The letter Z sounds like Z. And it's red. And here we have the letter P. And this one's blue. It goes right there. I think I saw an animal that starts with a P. Which one of these animals starts with P? Right, it's Panda. Panda starts with P. Let's put that one right there. And let's finish our letters. We're almost done. D goes right there, just like the dog. And Q. Do you know a bird that starts with the letter Q? Quail, right. Whoops, let's put that right there. And how about the letter J? Let's put that there. That one's orange. And our last one. It's the letter V, and it's yellow. And let's put that right there. Hey, we still have one animal left. This is a frog. Frog starts with the letter F. F frog. Let's put it in its home. Right there. Do you know what a frog sounds like? Ribbit. Right. Let's say our alphabet together before we find all of our fish that need to come in here. Okay, say it with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, come back down here, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and what's our last one? Z, right, great job. Now for the last part of our game, we need to find the fish that matches the color. But we can't just pick it up with our hand. We have to try to get it with this fishing pole. Do you think we can do it? I think we can. Which one should we try to get first? How about that one? Is it gonna get it? Yes, it did. This one is green. Okay, let's try to put it here in our green spot. We did it. And now the green fish is in his home. Which one should we do next? How about a blue one? Let's see, are you gonna get it? Yes, we got it. And now we're gonna put it in the blue home. How about right? there. Good job. Why don't we try this one? Hmm, you got it. Keep trying. Yes, we got it. This one looks yellow. Okay, let's try to put it here in the yellow home. You did it again. You're doing great. And now how about the green one? Wow, that was fast. You're getting better and better. The green fish. And here, let's put it in this green home. Yes, we did it. Next, I want to choose this one. Are we gonna get it? Yeah, we did it. This one has orange on the side. So let's put it in the orange home. Right there in between numbers eight and nine. Done. Now, I wanna go for this one. We did it. This one is blue. It's another blue one. Why don't we put it right here in between numbers three and four? Here we go. Yes, we did it. We got that one. Okay, this one is orange again. Let's put it right here. It's kind of a dark orange and now we have just a couple of fish left, three fish actually. Here's a dark blue, and that'll go here in between numbers one and two. And here we have a light blue. You did great, you're getting better and better each time. Let's put it here in between numbers four and five. And our last one. There we go, you did it. It goes all the way here at the very end, next to number 10. Great job. 
Wow, what a fun game today! So many parts! We counted numbers, and shapes, and letters of the alphabet, and animals, and we counted our circles, and then we matched the colored fish. Thank you, Raiden and Annalyn, for your help today.